Hello friends and neighbors, welcome to Gentry Vintage. This is a special episode tonight. We're going to start our uh, 500 subscriber giveaway contest. Yes, sir. I've been waiting a long time to do this. Um, we kind of sort of hit 500 subscribers back last weekend, earlier in the week. But uh, the number just kind of kept going up and down. I don't, I, I guess it's just YouTube's little system. I don't know. But uh, as of last check, we were at 512 subscribers. So we are definitely in the 500. Um, tonight we are smoking my Rossi Rubino 626. Hopefully you can see that all right. I didn't even check to see where the camera's pointing. <laughs> Sorry about that. And uh, in it tonight, I am smoking upside down. There we go. McBaron, London Burley, 2024. Uh, I wish they'd stop making this a limited edition and just leave it out because I really enjoy this blend and now I can't find it anymore. Uh, I should definitely not try limited edition blends anymore because I have currently two that I really like and I can't find any more of it. Uh, I made the mistake of trying the Gentleman Rum Vanilla Seattle Pipe Club and uh, that has become one of my favorite blends and uh, I'm on my last can of it, my last ten of it, and I can't, I can't find no more of it. Excuse me while I, I got the fan blowing back here. I'm trying to light this thing, and I got a, I just refilled this, and I got like a six inch flame on it. It's kind of hard to manipulate a, a big old flame when you've got a wind blowing at you. So I don't know about y'all, but here in Kentucky today, it has been hotter than Hades. Um, I know it was at least 91 earlier today and uh, like 500% humidity. Um, I took the day off work today to get some stuff down out here in the shop and uh, whew, it was hot. It's still hot out here. Um, I got a fan, like I said, I got a fan back here behind you and uh, uh, hopefully you're not getting a bunch of wind noise from that, but it is still hot out here and it's like nine o'clock at night. And uh, I've tried to turn some lights off in here to try to help the temperature go down some. Hopefully it'll help. Can't really open the door and the wind doors and windows in here because it uh, all the bugs can come in here. But I'd rather it be this hot than it be 10, 20 degrees outside. I hate the cold weather. Whew. I'm drinking some Gatorade Zero Sugar. I'm trying to drop a couple pounds for the wedding coming up here in a couple weeks not just that i'm trying to get a little a little healthier too uh before we go any further i just want to mention if you haven't seen if you're not a follower of him if you're not you need to go over and subscribe but flat cap piper uh posted earlier today that he went to the emergency room last night with some high blood pressure and stuff going on and uh as of last I seen, he was still in the hospital and they were still trying to figure out what's going on with him and uh, trying to get it under control. Um, hopefully there's a, a good update I, and then I may hopefully I've just missed it. But uh, uh, if you would, keep him in your thoughts and prayers and uh, go, over, go over to his channel and drop him a little note if you would and uh, let him know that we're thinking of him and wishing him a speedy recovery. Uh, him and his wife put out some wonderful content and uh, definitely praying that he can get well soon and get back to putting out them videos. So Mr. Flat Cap Piper, sir, we are uh, definitely praying for you and wishing you a speedy recovery. Um, <clears throat> I apologize if I'm all over the place tonight. Um, like I said, it's been hotter than Hades today and I am exhausted. And uh, on top of that, I had five million things I wanted to talk about in this video. And uh, I'm trying to break it all down and get as much as I can in without making it a super long video. So, the title of this video is, uh, Are You a Collector? Well, we know 
a lot of us as pipe smokers. A lot of us collect tobacco pipes, obviously. <clears throat> uh, I can't consider myself a collector of tobacco pipes yet, considering I only have six. Um, you know, and a lot of us collect pipe tobacco. Um, I love it when people post videos or show in their videos their, their sellers and uh, their pipe collections and stuff. But uh, I'm, I'm specifically talking about things other than pipes and tobacco. Um, I'm a collector, a little bit of collector of everything. <laughs> everything old, antique, vintage. Uh, always have been. I get it from my dad. My dad's the same way. My uncles are the same way. Uh, I guess it just runs in the family. Uh, I used to collect junk cars <laughs> uh, when I was a lot younger, late teens, early 20s. Uh, me and my buddy used to ride around on weekends, back roads in the country, and just look for old cars. And, uh, you know, every now and then we'd find somebody that would be interested in selling something, and we'd load it up on a trailer and drag it home. And uh, I ended up with 20 uh, something junk cars sitting around that we tinkered with, and sometimes I'd trade them off for something else, sell it, sell it and buy something else. And I, I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, buying, selling, trading old cars. Hopefully one day I can get back into doing that because I just, I really enjoy it. Um, I love old cars as, as I'm sure you already know. And uh, I just, I really enjoy tinkering with them. And uh, yeah, so uh, right now I just have the one right now. I got old blue over here and that's, that's the only one right now, and that's that's the one and only car I've ever owned that will I will always own. I'll, that car will never I'll never sell that. I've had many people try to uh, buy her from me in the time that I've owned her, and uh, that is a no go. But uh, anyway, uh, you know, a lot of us collect different things. Like I said, I collect a lot of different stuff. Um, in addition to uh, me collecting old cars, <laughs> uh, or used to, um, I've mentioned before that when I was a kid, I used to get up on Saturday mornings and when I was with my mom, and we'd always go to junkyards or car shows or whatever. And uh, I was always searching for old car parts and stuff. I was, I've always loved old cars and old car parts and everything and uh when i my, my parents were divorced when i was about a year old but uh when i was with my dad we'd get up in the saturday mornings and we'd go to the trash dump and we lived out in the country so uh when you live out in the country you take your trash to the city dump and dump it and usually on saturday mornings um so we'd go to the trash dump dump our stuff and see what everybody else threw away that we could rescue and then we'd hit the hardies and for breakfast and then start hitting local yard sales and flea markets. And uh, drag home everybody else's junk. And uh, I always enjoy doing that. Um, sometimes the hunt is just as, as fun as the collecting. Uh, that's, that's half the fun of it is, is hunting for it. And uh, I was always into hood, you know, old hood ornaments and emblems, hubcaps, you know, stuff like that. And um, when I remember when I was real young, I always had this this idea when I go to junkyards, I'd, I'd start bringing parts home and of this idea of building like a, a Frankenstein car. I was gonna collect enough parts that I could just build my own car out of all the stuff I collected. Um, as I got older, I figured that would have ended up like the Johnny Cash car, one piece at a time thing, where it's what, 30, 30 years worth of different years of Cadillacs put together, um, <laughs> which was kind of creative. Um, there really was, if you haven't ever seen it, uh, if, if you're not familiar with the One Piece at a Time song, there, there was somebody that actually did make a car, a Cadillac. I think it's in a museum now, but it, it was actually a Cadillac that was made of many different years of Cadillac parts put together. Kind of like trying to smoke a pipe on a windy day. Um, 
one of the things I, I actually just I ran across it today out here in the shop looking for something else and moving stuff around but one of the one of the things I found that I remember picking up at a yard sale uh, I mean a flea market excuse me it was a uh, our, our local flea market back home was was a really cool flea market for a long time and next thing I know it just kind of slowly just dwindled away and became as seen on TV and uh, just a bunch of crap and all the cool stuff just just I don't know if the guys just got old and stopped doing it I really don't know what happened but I still remember walking around and I think I gave five bucks for this but uh old old bulldog old old Mack truck hood ornament here old Mack truck hood ornament there I don't even know I don't know enough about the Mack truck hood ornaments to know uh, how they changed over the years I know they used them for decades but uh I don't even know what year. I'd, I'd have to look them up and see maybe the uh, decade or era, era that this came from. But I think I gave five bucks for this thing at a yard sale, and it's it, it's even still got the bolts in the bottom of it, which is kind of kind of rare when you find something like that at a, a flea market that it still has the <laughs> the uh, hardware still with it. But uh, yeah, I just I always enjoy bringing stuff like that home. Um, but over the years, my, my collecting stuff has kind of changed. Um, I used to be really big into model cars. I had hundreds and hundreds of model cars, and especially over the past several months months or so, I've, I'd say over the past year or so, I, I've kind of started dwindling that down. Um, it got to the point where I had a closet just full of model car boxes on the shelves, and I just, I got to the point uh, when I when I had them in the shelf, <clears throat> on the shelves in the box, and they're not out for display. I kind of thought, well, what's the point of having them? And they're just taking up space in the sh in the closet and uh, wherever else I had them all. And uh, I just had kind of a handful out on bookshelves and stuff in my well, man cave in the house. And I thought, what's the point of having them if I'm not displaying them? Why not just sell them, let somebody else enjoy them? And then I can kind of move on to some other stuff that I'm I'm enjoying, uh -huh. which one of those one of those things that I've recently started trying to get into is uh, collecting old soda bottles. Um, I don't I I really I found this one actually. This is a uh, Delish Delish soda. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. Let me. Let me come over here and this one's from the uh, 1970s. Uh, I don't know the exact year. It might have it on the bottom, but I can't. I can't read that. But it's it's from the 70s, and uh, this was bottled in Nashville, Tennessee. Which uh, I, it's as I get older, I kind of collect things that mean something to me too, which is kind of interesting. Um, it's interesting as you get older how your interests change or your uh, ideas of collecting change. Uh, I mean, I've, I've collected a lot of different things over the years, but it seems like after so many years, I kind of, I don't want to say lose interest, but I start getting interested in other stuff, and then I kind of sell off some of the stuff I had and start moving on to something different. But uh, right now, I've been trying to get into collecting uh, old soda bottles and milk bottles. Did I? No, I didn't. I thought I brought a milk bottle out here with me. Um, I've got a handful of old milk bottles too, and I've got six or seven old soda bottles right now, but this is not the oldest one I have. The oldest one I have of the soda bottles is a uh, Dr. Pepper bottle bottled in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Um, it's a late late 40s, early 50s bottle. It's the, uh, it doesn't have any of the uh, uh, colored, colored printing on it. It's just uh, embossed glass, but, uh, I should have brought that one out here, but it, it's pretty cool. But um, but yeah, I've been I've been hunting more for uh, these old soda bottles. I, I think they're pretty cool. Um, I found this one in the back of an old truck that I'd bought off an old farmer. It was in the toolbox in the bed. I was cleaning the bed of the truck out and ran across this, and I said, "Man, that's cool." So obviously, I kept it, cleaned it up, put it on the shelf, and it needs to be cleaned again. But uh, another thing that I collect is uh, I get this from my dad. I am a music lover, uh, especially uh, bluegrass and classic country music. Um, 
absolutely love it. Uh, I'm a nerd when it comes to uh, bluegrass and country music. Um, I play a little guitar. Um, I'm, I'm a piddler on the guitar. I, I, I don't like playing in front of people. Uh, Mrs. Piper says that uh, I'm a lot better than I think I am. I think she's just trying to be nice. But, um, but my dad has always been a big music guy. And, and I love other genres too. I love uh, 20s and 30s music of different, different genres. Uh, but another thing I collect that I get from my dad is uh, I'm a record collector. Um, I love collecting records. Uh, specifically 78s. Uh, when was the last time you saw a 78? Okay, a lot of you guys are like me. You've probably seen 78s or have 78s. But uh, this one is on the uh, Brunswick label. I don't remember who this is. I mean, it was Hor Horace somebody. I'm not even sure. Um, this one came out of a stack. A, uh, a friend of ours in our Sunday school class at church, his father-in-law passed away last year. And as they were going through all his stuff to... Uh, do an estate sale and all that. Um, he ran across a box of old 78s in the closet and he knows I love collecting 78s. So uh, they passed these off to me because they knew I would appreciate them. And uh, I am very appreciative of that. Uh, there was some cool stuff in there. The coolest thing to me about collecting 78s is when you run across them at a yard sale or a, a junk shop or something. My favorite thing about the 78s is bringing them home and going through the box and seeing what kind of little, little treasures you can find in there. Um, most 78s aren't really worth a lot of money, but to me it's just cool to have it still. I, I know a lot of this stuff is, is on digital format now, but to me, I, I love the fact that I can just take these and put it on a Victrola or... I, 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 pl I don't play the Victrola much at all. I, I mainly put these on a, a modern turntable because it they don't use a steel needle. And uh, th this one's kind of rough. I, I just brought this out as an example, but I haven't even cleaned this one up. But uh, actually, you'd be surprised sometimes, even when they don't look that great, they actually, some of them play pretty good. But uh, I'll eventually clean this one up and just and play it and see how it sounds. But uh, I, I play most of these on a modern turntable because they don't, they don't have the uh, steel needle on them and it doesn't wear the record out. But uh, I love collecting records, um, so especially 78s. I've got a few hundred 78s. Um, it's just it's just something I enjoy. Um, I like sitting down sometimes, and now that now that Mrs. Piper's gotten a little bit better with me smoking a pipe in the house, I'm looking forward to this winter. This winter when it gets cold, I don't want to get cold too soon, but when it does, I'm looking forward to uh, getting all these cleaned up and uh, this most recent batch I got getting all these cleaned up and uh, sitting down and smoking a pipe and and playing them. Mm, 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 mm. That that is what I call fun. Y'all are thinking, Josh, you're crazy. But I love it. I love it. Um, I don't know. It's just cool. I, one of the ones I found, my dad ran across a, a, a box of about 40 or 50 78s at a yard sale a couple years ago. And uh, the guy, I think he ended up taking like 10 bucks for the box or something. And the coolest thing I found in that was an old, uh, it was an old beer commercial or advertisement. Um, ah, I can't remember what company it was. It was a it was a beer company. I don't know that I'd ever heard of, but it was a uh, a beer commercial for a advertisement. I thought that was pretty cool. One thing I would like to get into collecting, and I don't have any yet. I want to get into collecting, uh, I don't even know why I just picked this one up, it's not even the same thing. I want to get into collecting the uh, old uh, tobacco tins, uh, specifically pre-war, pre-war tobacco tins, so you know like 30s and, and below. So my uh, my bookcase in the in the man cave is slowly turning from uh, model cars to uh, more soda bottles and hopefully soon some uh, maybe some antique tobacco tins to go with them. But uh, oh, it's just kind of stuff I've gotten into recently. I I enjoy. Um, I had a guy recently. I had posted a couple uh, antique uh, soda bottles on a uh, 
a, a website, what do you call them, things, message form or whatever online, just trying to get some information on them. And this guy contacted me here in Louisville and said he had a bunch of these that belonged to his dad that had passed away that he was selling. And I'm still kicking myself for not taking them. Um, he was trying to sell them to me. He didn't know what they, were, what they were worth. And the problem was I didn't know what they were worth either. So I turned it down because I didn't want to overpay for them. And uh, yeah, I should have I should have just bought them from him because uh, now I wish I would have. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, my my collecting is is uh, changing over the years. It's kind of interesting how things change like that. But anyway, I'd love to hear what you uh, what you like collecting. And uh, speaking of collecting, if you do collect pipes, let's get into the giveaway. So, the good people, Mitchell and Sarah at MBSD Pipes, have graciously donated for my 500 subscriber giveaway. This beautiful Rossi. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. This is a Rossi, I'm going to slaughter this, Bar Bar Barrasso, Barrasso, that's pretty, ain't it? That is pretty. So M MBSD Pipes is a, uh, is a little family owned business um, in Georgia and a wonderful, wonderful people. Like I said, they have donated this pipe for my 500 subscriber giveaway and uh <clears throat> this is cool and if you notice it's also flat on the bottom it's, it's a good sitter but uh so the giveaway uh we're gonna start the giveaway today this is uh friday oh what is this june 14th i think well as of the posting of this video the uh the contest will start uh but what you're going to win in the giveaway you will win this wonderful Rossi, ah, oh, Barrasso, Barras, Bar, Barras. <laughs> I'm horrible pronouncing stuff. Um, but you will win this pipe along with a $50 smokingpipes.com gift card. Um, and in that case, I guess, since it's not, I, I, I don't want to just give you, give people tobacco because not everybody likes to sing tobacco. Um, I could give you some tobacco, but I want you to be able to pick out what you want. So what I'm doing is, is it, you're going to get this pipe from MBSD Pipes. Mitchell and Sarah graciously donated this wonderful pipe for our uh, giveaway. And uh, if, if you're not familiar with MBSD Pipes, please check them out. I'm going to post a link down below. And uh, uh, please check them out. They are uh, wonderful people and have an awesome website with, oh, it's really dangerous for me to look at their website. Um, I, try, I try not to, but I can't help it. <laughs> but, uh. So, you will win this pipe, and a $50 smokingpipes.com gift card will come along with it, so you can pick out whatever tobacco you want to load up in this pipe. So, here are the rules for the giveaway. Uh, since it's not tobacco, I guess it does not need to be within the uh, U.S. of A. Um, and that was another reason I didn't want to do tobacco, because I want people that, there's a lot of people that subscribe to the channel that are not in the U.S., and uh, I want them to have an opportunity to win too because it's, it's not fair for them not to have a chance to win when uh, they, they contribute just as much as anybody else does and uh, they're a part of the 500. So I don't wanna leave them out. Or I say them, you're probably watching it. You, you, the people in other countries too. So uh, yes, this pipe and a $50 smokingpipes.com gift card so you can choose what tobacco you wanna load her up with. And the rules are, all you got to do is comment on this video between now and I'm gonna make a post about um, the dates just so people know for sure um, we're gonna say the contest is gonna run through now this is Friday night the 14th of, I think it's the 14th I'm sorry my, my brain is just mush this afternoon evening um, so the contest will run but uh, today through next Saturday, next Saturday night on, uh, like I said, I'll post the date. But uh, you could just comment on this video 
All you got to do is comment on this video and put I'm in. Um, also, if you're a collector of anything, post in the comments uh, what you like to collect. It, I don't care what it is. As long as it's anything other than tobacco and tobacco pipes, uh, tell me what you collect. I don't care if it's postage stamps. I don't care if it's paper clips. I don't care if it's soda bottles. I, it doesn't matter what it is. Just tell me what you collect. I'm interested to hear. And uh, a bonus, you get a double, double entry. If you, uh, if you comment below, and then if you go on your channel and you post a VR, uh, uh, I think it was a video response. If you make a video and tell me, it, you don't have to show your collection if you don't want to. Uh, that is totally optional. Um, it'd be awesome if you did. But uh, at least make, make a video response and make sure you tag me in it so I see it. Because if you don't tag me, I may not see it. Um, YouTube's weird sometimes with notifications. And... I don't always see your content for, you know, sometimes I might see a video that somebody posted two weeks ago and uh, I try to go check individual channels and see if there's new content, but uh, sometimes I get busy and don't get a chance to do that. But make sure you tag me, whether it's in the title or the description or whatever, make sure you tag me so I can see it. But uh, uh, you can get a, an extra entry if you make a video telling me about what you collect. You can either just talk about it or you can show some items or, or whatever you want to do. But uh, make, make a video telling me what you'd like to collect or uh, just post it down in the comments below. Uh, just post I'm in. If you don't collect anything or you don't want to talk about it, just put I'm in. You're good to go. But uh, you can get a, an extra entry if you make a video. Um, like I said, I'll make another post talking about the dates and uh, when the contest will end and just, just a recap of uh, how to enter and so forth. But uh, yeah. Other than that, I reckon that's about it. I'm, I, I really like this pipe. I might have to go buy me one. It's, I, like, I like the way it feels. And I like, the, I like that it's flat on the bottom and it just sits there. And I could just sit there and plop tobacco in it. And Yeah, I like this. And uh, this Rossi I have is the best smoking pipe that I, that I have. I love smoking this pipe. I probably smoke this more than any of them. And... Uh, I would almost venture to say that the, this Rossi probably smokes the same. Yeah, I bet it does. If you don't want it, I'll keep it. But <laughs> no, uh, seriously, I, I really do appreciate all of your support, and uh, it's just just something I I, I want to say thank you, and uh, that this is my way of saying thank you to everybody. So uh, make sure you comment on this video be uh, below, and uh, like, subscribe, share. You must be a subscriber of the channel. Um, but other than that, um, I reckon that's about all I got for now. Thank y'all so much for, uh, sticking with me if, if you did. If you fast forwarded to this part, that's cool too. But, uh, I appreciate you sticking with me and, uh, I appreciate your uh, support very, very much. And, um, uh, until next time, I wish blessings for all and lots of luck to you and yours.